tubers welcome back for another adventure and what i want to do is test fire this 12 horsepower uh diesel motor it's a little air cooled diesel so i picked this up for 50 bucks and if you're familiar with uh diesels they're not like gasoline engine where you fill up the uh fuel ball and you know as you're cranking the engine over it's pulling the air over the fuel that's evaporating creating a combustible mix which your spark plug fires that's not the way a diesel works the way a diesel works is you need the fuel system full if you get air in the pump and air in the line that goes up to the injector what happens is as the pump is pushing on it the air is compressing <laughs> and you might not be getting any diesel fuel out into the cylinder head you know cylinder comes up creates heat plus the injection of the fuel creates more heat and you get the detonation right on top dead center well quite honestly if you have air in the line if you're getting any diesel right if there's enough pressure push that you're actually opening up the injector you're not getting the right stoichiometry <laughs> the right mixture of diesel and air and temperature such that you'll fire you really need a con you do need or you have to have a constant flow and what i'm going to do with this video is i'm going to show you how to bleed the air out when i first tried to start this motor up I was hoping that the fuel was continuous right down. It was not, so it didn't start, obviously. Also, notice this extra line. That's a return line. So if you do everything I do and you don't put something at the end of this return line, it's going to dump fuel all over your driveway, make your wife cranky. You're going to step in it. You're going to track it in the house, and everybody's going to be mad at you. So let's get started. Before you attempt to start any engine, do yourself a favor, make sure it has OCD. OCD is oil. Oh yeah, we got oil, maybe too much. So get that back in there. We know this thing has compression because we already tried to start it. Then you're gonna need detonation. Detonation for diesel means a continuous fuel stream. So um, this is clean diesel, right? Make sure you got no water in it or anything like that. If you use clean diesel in your engine, it's a happy engine. If you use dirty, dirty diesel in your engine, you end up with a sick or dead engine. I mean, obviously you got a fuel filter here, but you don't want to damage the pump, clog up the injector and make a mess. Do yourself a favor, use a fuel filter, use clean diesel. Don't mess around with that. So, right, you gotta, you wanna get all the air out. Air is a bad thing, so I'm going to uh, fill this up, then I'm going to go down there and burp it at the fitting, because once again, you don't, you just don't want any air, right? You want a nice, continuous stream of diesel fuel. There we go. Right, get all the air out. Isn't that nice? Okay, so fuel to the pump, coming out of the pump, the injector goes, goes right to the injector here. And there's already some witness marks on here before I even attempt to loosen things as I uh, mess up the hose. There you go. So, um, hopefully, the Gorilla, Gorilla didn't tighten this. Oh, good. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the engine over and open this and hopefully it's going to burp out the air and life is good. Let me see if I can set up the camera so that you can watch me. Alright, I have my little button for turning the engine over. I push that in, it'll the engine will spin and I'm going to attempt to loosen this and do all of this at the same time. All right, so I loosened it. Hmm. It's already uh it already did a kick like it's firing. as it squirts gas all over the place or diesel all over the place I have the feeling this puppy is going to fire right up so I got to kind of put a hand here to hang on to it I thought I had it turned off hmm it is turned off I think this thing is going to start right up <laughs> well hopefully it doesn't all on the ground. What can I hang on to here? I gotta be careful because I got a fan there. You know, whenever you mess with diesel, you stink like diesel. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. All right, wish me luck. Okay, that was completely scary. <laughs> Having 12 horses of diesel pressed into your hip as it fires up for the first time is scary. So, paid 50 bucks for this thing at the Kent Machinery Show. He wanted 75. I asked if that was his best price. He said 50. I said sold American. Now, what it is is the um, Chang Fa if I had to guess the manufacturer, copy of a Yanmar diesel. And if I had to guess, it is 12 horsepower. And once again, it is from a um, diesel generator, which means when it fires up, it has a tendency to run at 3,600 RPM. So whatever you put it on, beware of that. Um, I guess if one messes with this material here, you could get the RPM down and perhaps rig up some kind of um, throttle. Or, once again, you let it run at 3600 and you just do what you need through a clutch, right? Um, some of these you're able to hook up from the front. One would have to come up with some kind of uh, pulley system running off the front of this. Hopefully the front bearing is strong enough to be able to drive something if that's where you run, a, run from. Um, when, it, uh, when it comes to a high school date, this is a bit stubby for a drive shaft and it is mighty, uh, it's tapered. Um, I've done a little bit of research on this stuff. What do-it-yourselfers have a tendency to do is hang on to the rest of the generator and then um, cut the piece off that tapers and slides in, leave a little extra shaft on it. Then you could create a cage with those bolts and put in um, outboard bearing if you need a lot of shaft. Let's say you want to put a couple of pulleys on that to turn an alternator, a generator, you know, a few things like that back to the do-it-yourselfer. Perhaps a belt down to work a drive system on a tractor. And quite honestly, that's kind of what I have floating around in my mind is to um, 
put this on a on a tractor um if one could extend that out use it to drive the tractor and at the same time um, spin an alternator um, a car alternator to keep its battery charged and to provide uh, power should you have a 12 volt inverter and perhaps perhaps also I have a generator head from uh, a while ago that theoretically if you spin it at 3600 rpm you get um, electricity out of it that you can run a circular saw or whatever like that quite honestly probably the best thing to do is put a hundred amp car alternator on it and a couple of batteries and uh, just put an inverter on it just make sure you have enough amps between the alternator and the batteries to uh, to power the the um, inverter fully so you could uh, do what you need to do um, charge the batteries up and uh, use those in your rechargeable tools then you don't have to go through all this messing around so you see it started and drops of diesel all over obviously diesels are very efficient on um, fuel it used almost nothing um, I love diesels so to me for 50 bucks I'm happy as heck even if I do nothing with this just to get it running and uh, enjoy it from that point of view it should be mounted properly and uh, set up so that it doesn't fall on the ground or fall on my foot or inhale me as I'm leaning up against it trying to keep it from jumping about right um, this whole thing was extremely sketchy didn't put it on camera but it was sketchy anyway um, I hope you all enjoyed this video I got some other uh, interesting stuff coming up a uh, pickup truck review got a new pickup truck that's coming within my uh, purview I'm not gonna own it but um, I want to show you guys that it's kind of a new technology rig um, and uh, you know the all-terrain vehicle it's got a lot of stuff good stuff cooking so stay tuned I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe please remember to keep your feet down your heads up and make sure you get out each and every day and have some fun unfortunately I'm proof that you don't know how many you're gonna get so make sure you have fun while you can bye now